This video is going to be over how to divide fractions. All right, well, the dividing rule. Remember this. This is very important to remember when dividing fractions. You're going to copy, and then you're going to times, and then you're going to flip. So copy, times, flip. When you're dividing fractions, you're going to copy the first number, change the division to a multiplication sign, and then flip or take the reciprocal of the second number. So if you have this down here, 4 fifths divided by 1 third. So we have 4 fifths divided by 1 third. Well, we're going to copy the first number. So this is what it looks like here. We're going to copy this first number, and then we're going to take the second number and flip it up to make a reciprocal and you're going to multiply. So you're really not dividing, you're really multiplying by the reciprocal. So when I think of dividing fractions, I like to say multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, and remember the reciprocal is just a flip of the number, so we're going to practice that. Now remember the reciprocal of a number is found by changing the number to a fraction if necessary and flipping the fraction. The number 0 does not have a reciprocal because you can't divide by 0. So if we start out with 4 fifths, the reciprocal would be 5 over 4 because we're just flipping these numbers. If we start out with 7 over 3, the reciprocal is 3 over 7. If we start with the number 6, we first have to make it a fraction and then flip it as the reciprocal. So that's how you find the reciprocal. So let's practice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the first number. We're going to multiply, and then we're going to multiply, and we're going to flip the second number. So copy times flip. All right, so now, then you just multiply 5 times 3 is 15, and 12 times 2 is 24. And then remember, you need to simplify. So 15 over 24 simplified using my calculator. So I would put 15 fraction key 24 equals 5 eighths. The second one, remember we're going to keep it the same. The first number is the same. Then we're going to multiply by the flipped one, so 6 over 1. So 7 times 6 is 42. 8 times 1 is 8. And then we need to simplify. So 42 fraction key 8 equals, you should get 5 and 1 fourth. All right, let's you go ahead and try the second one. Press pause and try the second one, then come back and check your answer. Well, now that you're back, let's check it. So our 9 over 10 stays 9 over 10. Our division sign changes to a multiplication sign. And we multiply by the reciprocal, which is 5 over 3. So 9 times 5 is 45. 10 times 3 is 30. So then we're going to simplify. 45 fraction key 30 equals 1 and 1 half. All right, let's do practice problem 1. There have been 42 presidents before George Bush. Of those, one third were elected to a second term. How many presidents were elected to a second term? Well, one third of them, so 42 divided by one-third. So we first have to put 42 over 1, so that equals 42 over 1. This changes, division changes to multiplication. Our fraction changes to the reciprocal. So 42 times 3 So 42 times 3 is 126 over 1. Now, because we I did this on purpose, so you could see that just because it says 
one third, and we know we have to divide our presidents, doesn't mean you always divide by the one third. Looky here. We've had 42 presidents in the past, and when we do division, we end up with 126 of them were elected to the second term. Well, we know that's not right because that's more than what how many presidents we had. So just because we were working on division doesn't always mean that that's exactly how you figure it out. So here it says it says 42 presidents. There have been 42 presidents before Bush. So there's been 42 presidents. One third of them were elected to a second term. That means that 42 has to be split into three pieces. Okay? That's what that means. And only one of them, one section of them, were elected to the second term. So if we divide 42 into three pieces, we get, whoops, we get 14. So that means 14 presidents were elected to a second term. Practice problem two. There, there was three-fourths of a pizza left over from a family gathering. The next day, Tina and her two friends wanted to divide the remaining pizza into three equal parts. How much of the whole pizza did each girl eat? Alright, so we start out with three-fourths, and we need to divide that into three pieces. Okay, so that means the first thing we need to do is we need to put three over one, so three-fourths stays the same. Then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, so that's one over three. So three times one is three, four times three is twelve. And now we need to simplify that into one-fourth. So each girl ate one-fourth of the remaining pizza. Hopefully this has helped you understand um, how to divide fractions. Um, if you have any other questions, make sure you contact your teacher.